Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just to uh, mention that uh, Microsoft has said that uh, they are accelerating the push of anybody on version 2004 towards 21H1 which is the latest version of Windows 10. So if you are still on version 2004, the reason they are doing this is because you are um, getting close to end of support. You'll still have September and October and I believe November. But after that, you will be out of luck for support. So you'll have to move on to either 20, 20H2, 21H1, and apparently pretty much everybody now has um, should see the uh, at least 20H2, um, if not 21H1. For other questions also, I still get a lot of people saying, well, you know, I'm in Windows 10 and um, I'm on, so let's go see here, so I'm on 21H1, which is uh, 19043.1165 right now. Uh, a lot of people are asking me, you know, should you mo should I move on to 21H1? I see it in my uh, optional um, downloads. And usually where you see it is in the settings. You'll go into Windows Update and the Update and Security. And you should see a separate section that says op that there's a optional uh, update that is um, feature update for 21H1. Honestly, there's so little difference between 20H2 and 21H1 that my um, I would I would actually tell everybody just to move to 21H1 for several reasons. Uh, 21H1 being the May update of this year, you'll be okay until the end of next year. You won't even have to install anything until the end of next year except the regular monthly updates. So you'll be okay for a while. So if there is, so for example, there's, we are supposed to see 21H2 as a very small cumulative update again. Uh, you won't have to install it if you don't want to. You'll be able to just wait it until next year. Um, that is one of the ideas here. Um, of course, if you're not compatible with Windows 11 also, uh, you'll be continuing the ride of Windows 10, which is fine. Honestly, it's, it's fine. Your, your computer's still running Windows 10. It's going to run Windows 10 for the next four years. It's all right. And um, it, there's no problem there. For those that are thinking that maybe when officially it's going to be available, that are compatible, want to move on to Windows 11, um, I don't know. Because when someone asked me, he said, if I'm not at the latest, greatest Windows 10 version, will I still see Windows 11 offered? My guess would be that maybe it will be offered only to those that are on the latest version, but it could be offered to anyone, honestly. It's a cumulative update. So it's a longer update than a regular cumulative update, but it's still not a big feature update that you know we had before where it's a big reinstall. So I would guess that maybe pretty much everybody would see it as long as you're compatible with the um, Windows 11. But um, personally, I think anybody that's not on 21H1 and sees that it's available in the Windows update should move on to 21H1. And uh, you'll be okay and be, you'll be set for quite a while um, as it's such a small cumulative update and doesn't really do much or doesn't add much to the operating system itself. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.